there's a, a banked road here to help the car to go around a curve. In this case, we're going to make it so that no friction is required to keep the car going around the curve. Let's draw some vectors and label them. Straight down is going to be gravity force. And then off perpendicular is going to be the force normal. Now in this case, normal and gravity y will not equal each other. So let me go ahead and break this into a vector components. Again, we'll label all these in a moment. Pointing straight down, force gravity. The one perpendicular, again, force normal. Pointing in this direction is going to be force normal x. And this would be force normal y. And our angle theta here is also going to be our angle theta right there. Now the car is not moving up or down, so force normal y is going to equal force gravity. So force gravity, of course, is equal to mg. Force normal y, therefore, has to equal mg. Now force normal x is pointing this way. If we look at a parallelogram, it would be pointing on the car this way. Now force normal x, then, is what's causing centripetal acceleration. Because this car is moving in a circle, it's kind of hard to imagine it. It's going around and around like this. The force normal x is indeed pointing to the center of the circle. So in this question, force normal x then has to equal force centripetal. Well, let's take a look at this. Well, we have an angle here. We could use the tangent of theta. Tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So let's write that over here. Tangent of theta is equal to force normal x over mg. Because remember, force normal y, this part of the triangle here, is indeed equal to mg. So force normal x is going to equal mg tangent of theta. Now remember that theta is right here, which is also the same as the angle of the inclined. So substituting this, where I see force normal x, and then force centripetal, we know that equation, it would look like this. mg tangent theta is equal to m v squared divided by r. The r would be the radius of the curve, radius of the circle that the car is going. And we see that mass crosses off on both sides. We could divide by g in order to get tangent theta all by itself. So tangent of theta is equal to v squared divided by gr. And this is the bank road or bank curve equation. And Generally, we're trying to find the angle that we have to bank the road so that no friction is required to keep the car going around the circle.